What was that noise? Ugh, my stomach. It needs to be fed soon. You know, it's actually nice to walk. Ha! Before you interrupted me, I was about to say, in small doses. Yum. Well, here goes nothing. Do you think it'll work? Oh, it works. But will it work the way that we want it to? Which means one, long enough to consume an entire flow bridge, and two, that it won't blow up in our faces when the hyper rust reaches capacity. I have no idea. I can't really do a full scale test. So after all this, can we still store the flow? Of course. I just added an alternative circuit with hyper rust. We'll just need to switch it when we need to sever the bridge. And it'll work just like the flow bursts. Severing the flow bridge? That also means cutting off our way home. Even our way out of source. Yeah. Is that really what we want? I don't know. What are our other options? Hmm. <laughs> That's what I thought. First... We could try to get closer to the base of the bridge, see what's at the bottom, and then... we'll see? Sounds like a plan. It's the opposite of a plan. Who's counting? Improve what, exactly? It's a bit late to start cooking food. Oh. Are you exercising now? I guess, now that we have the gear, I have no more excuses. I would say you have plenty of excuses. You don't feel it, you don't need it. Well, actually, you're making me feel guilty doing push-ups every day. As you wish. Is that okay? Not too heavy? No! No, it's alright. How many do I need to do again? However many. How am I supposed to know? I've never done this. Give me a number. Fifteen? Fifteen? That's ridiculous. I can do so many more. How weak do you think I am? Fifteen reps per set is not a bad start. Hold on. What does that mean, per set? Per set of exercises. You're not just working out your arms, are you? I mean, these are free weights. What else am I supposed to work out? Whatever you want. With free weights, you can do your arms, your shoulders, your back, your pectorals, even your buttocks or thighs, if you want to do squats. For real? All right. I guess we're going to do a little personal training. Oh. Just promise you'll take it seriously, yeah? Yes, coach.
Ooh, your feet are freezing. <laughs> well, yeah. Why do you think I'm trying to warm them up on you? Can't you use the comforter? Doesn't work. Well, try a hot water bottle or something. You're my hot water bottle. Mmm. Think about it. Which do you prefer? Cold feet on your calves at this very moment just long enough to warm them up? Or sleeping in fear that my cold feet will touch you by chance during the night and wake you up with a jolt? <sighs> Okay, go ahead. <laughs> ah. You know, we could also move this to the bed. It would be more comfortable. Yeah, but I'd like to have the mirror there. Oh, kinky. Uh, you? Are your bunch of cables going to remain in the entryway for a while? Why? Well, it isn't much use here, and I almost tripped on it again. Where would you rather put them? In case you hadn't noticed, we're kind of short on space. I was considering tossing them. What? Like where? Outside? All dumpster-like? So a critter will strangle itself? So it will choke, trying to eat cables. We could just take them back to where... I'm disappointed. Whatever happened to the no-waste K of yore? This isn't our trash. Do you really think Source knows the difference? It is incumbent upon us to protect her from this kind of pollution. You know, you could have said, No K, I don't want to toss them. It might not save space, but it would have saved us time. Ooh, what's that smell? Could it be... some apple brew? Oh no, not today. I am not ready.
Did you think about the fact that this might be our last night and that we just spent it getting hopped up on apple brew? Why would it be our last night? I don't know. You can never know. Tomorrow, another batch of hornets might show up and... <laughs> we'll kick their butts. <laughs> yes, maybe. But at the same time, maybe not. Seriously, though, don't you think about it? Not now. Now, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good, too. But we can still talk about it, can't we? Well, it's just a little bit depressing. Oh, no, 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 it doesn't have to be. Not if we consider it as a theoretical event that'll never happen. Or that will happen much later. Like, for instance, what would you do if you knew that this is our last night on Source? Let's say our last day. I'll give you that. Do you want me to show you what I would do? <laughs> okay, I know. That's also the first thing that crossed my mind. But we can't do that for 24 hours straight. We need to take breaks. So, besides that, what would you do? That's a real question. Do I have time to think about it? Yeah, sure. Take your time. Mmm... I think that... I would stare at the stars. Oh yeah? I would locate the apiary planets with a telescope, and I would show them my butt. Seriously though? Seriously? Same answer. I would go stare at the stars, as both a way to escape, and to look danger in the face. Infinite space, and in the middle of it all, the prison in which they want to keep us. I kind of like those contradictions. What would you like to do? Oh no. I was thinking about a thing, but it'll sound lame by comparison. Oh, I doubt it. Yeah, you're always coming up with poetic stuff. Mine's just dumb. Just say it. I would go tickle oink. Tell him goodbye, I guess. Ah, no way. I want to do that too. Who cares about the stars? I pick Oink too. Hmm. Poor Oink. Note that we could do both. Oof. You know what else we would have time for? A creamberry fondue. Of course. Of course as in, of course I would say that, or of course we will have creamberry fondue. Both. But we don't have to wait until our last day on Source to do all this, you know. No. Lucky us. But not tonight. Too tired. Do you want to go lay down? No, thanks. I'm good right here. <laughs> Is it really a good idea to go out at night? No, you're right. Are you okay? Having nightmares? No. No, no, not, not a nightmare. Just a dream. A weird one. Tell me. Uh. Ah. It's a sexy dream, isn't it? What? How did you... I know that look on your face. <laughs> Who was it? No one. I just... Uh. Come on, you can tell me. I won't get mad or anything. No, but you'll laugh at me. 
I promise I won't laugh. <sighs> it was with me. It, it was you and you? Mm, yes. Huh. Well, that's pretty common. I also dream of you. <laughs> How could I not? <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> All joking aside, I'm a bit jealous. I would love to have a sexy dream with myself. For real? Isn't that a bit narcissistic? I don't think so. We haven't crossed paths with too many people lately. There's only so much your imagination can build upon. It's just making do. <laughs> You're probably right. Was it good at least? Hmm? It wasn't bad. Obviously, with four people per bunk, there wasn't much privacy. But to be honest, I wasn't miserable. Everyone was nice to me. I had friends. And if I needed to be alone, I could always go hide in the backyard. Huh. I guess needing to be alone is kind of an alien concept to you. You? Oh! Sorry, I wasn't listening. You have this huge sit on your back that is killing me. You just asked me what growing up in the foster home was like. I know, but it is so big. I'm talking about my childhood here, and you are locked in on a zit? But at this point, it's not a zit. It's like a mega zit. Where is it? No, never mind, you can't feel it. It's right in the middle. Anyway. It's gonna disappear on its own. What? You're not gonna pop it? You cannot pop a zit. Best case scenario, it will get more inflamed. Worst case, it could get infected or leave a scar. Have you never had acne? No. Hold on, hold on. Did you have acne? <laughs> well, yeah. Big time. But your skin is so soft. That's precisely because I left my zits alone. So, you were walking around all day with a bunch of whiteheads on your face? <sighs> Those weren't my easiest years. You know I'm gonna have to see a photo. Ha! <laughs> Do you really think that I allowed any documentary evidence of that era to survive? Is that right? Even the foster home's archives? They burned down in an accident. And any witnesses who might have frequented me at the time have mysteriously disappeared. Speaking of which... You know my secret now. Sorry, you, but you have left me no choice. No, no tickling. Do you really think we stand a chance to sever the flow bridge? Let's find it first. They're still too small.
Thank you, Burble. Through there. Uh, sit. We didn't do all this for nothing. No way. Another one. Well, the smell has got a little better. I bet you we just got used to it. Can you imagine if we hadn't found the anti-grav chips? Nightmare. These guys are freaks. Ooh, that looks bad. Ooh. You know what to do. Got this. Not yet! Much better. Cover me. Oh, oh bloot! Oh. Now shoot! You're safe! Nice. This one's ready. Uh. That looks bad. Done? I won't be able to take it much longer. Are you okay? My scare turn. I'm on. Watch out. Bye bye. Let's get it over. Shield up. One down. One left. Are you all right? This one's tough. Maybe try something else. He's ripe for the picking. Harvest time. You? Yep, saw that. The end. No, enough. We already gave you some. We're gonna get stuffed. This 
one is nice and ripe. Are we saving those for later? Of course. This one's a little rotten, isn't it? You're a little rotten. Huh? Sorry, it was a reflex. So, this is done. Just hope the smell won't stay in our clothes. Oh no. I didn't even think of that. It isn't ripe yet. We'll need to wait a little bit for it to grow. I can officially say that I've lost my sense of smell. The stench has contaminated my nostrils into my brain. Apple Dews will never taste the same again. So, that's a win, isn't it? That's for cooking. Do you think we'll have enough? We never have enough. This one smells weird. Chuck it then. Are you insane? Let's share those.
you know what's that way. little bud. You can do it. Two are stuck. What if we put all of the chips in the same pair of boots? Would that allow us to go higher? That's not how it works. How does it work? Not like that. Perfect landing. As always. long until Ozius shows up? I don't know. It kind of depends on when he's leaving, what ship he's taking. Can you venture a guess? A few weeks? A few days? Ugh, I don't know. Woo! Wakes you right up! Soon. Are you all? Ready, hungry? I'm just looking ahead.
Are you sure this one is ripe? It passes. trying to shake me? You failed. This is giving me a great recipe idea. No spoilers. I can't take it, Kay. I am too hungry. Aren't you hungry? I try not to think about it. Sorry, we have to save some for the others. Hey, close your mouth. A bug's gonna fly in. Hmm. Unless he eats bugs. Oh, then you're doing great. Keep it up. Oh yeah, I remember. We're on empty. And off we go! Okay, this one just made it into my top ten. Top five for me. This one doesn't look very good. Let's not judge based on appearances. Mm, we were right.
What's that you're humming? It's the Hornet song. Ever heard of it? Mm, no. Huh. We used to sing it all the time at home. Hornet, Hornet, you're a gas. We'll rip off your wings and stick them up your. Pfft. Hornet, Hornet, you're a gas. Wow. Sounds like there were a bunch of would-be anarchists at the home. <laughs> yeah, at the time I thought I was referring to the bugs. Oh, an accidental bad boy. Too cute. Laugh all you want. I'm sure you were a big-time rebel too. I really was. I had baby teeth when I ran away from home for the first time. Not that I went very far. I packed a bindle and tried to hitch a lift at the spaceport. Except it was our private spaceport, so my mothers weren't exactly worried about my next move. They were staring at me through the window, laughing. And then? Well, after a while I guess I got bored and I came home, by myself, like a big girl. Thug life. <laughs> you know it. Let's just call it a dress rehearsal before the big debut. But this time, my chances of going back home are pretty slim. Even if you really, really, really get bored. I'm counting on you to entertain me. Do you really think we stand a chance to sever the flow bridge? Let's find it first. I know this place. Are we going back? Come on! Let's give them time to ripen a bit. Break? Break. Harsh bird cry in six. Mmm, squawk? Nope, doesn't fit. Shriek? Nope, doesn't work either. What are your letters? Something, 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 WT. WT? WT is weird. Are you sure it's not squawk? How did you get your tea? From Nest. What's the clue? A place to sleep. Uh, that's bunk, not Nest. Nest fits. But you can tell that's not right. But it is. It fits. But it's wrong. Who cares if it's wrong? It's too easy if you have all the right answers. It's only a level one. I like my way better. Makes you be more creative. Okay. 
Then don't count on me to help you. I wasn't counting on you. I asked because that's part of the fun. I'm gonna put Sprout. R E W T. It fits. I don't feel like going back up. We'll be back. I sure hope so. Oh, no. You have the hiccups? I hope not. It usually takes ages for me to get rid of them. Um... <gasps> oh, bloot! All right, are you ready? I don't know. It looks complicated. Well, sure, it's slightly more complex than pick a bobble. <laughs> but you'll see, it's actually pretty intuitive once you get into it. If I need to get into it first, that's the opposite of intuitive. Nah, you'll see, it's easy. First off, you should choose a color. Green. Ah. Uh. What, aren't the green ones good? Yes, greens are very good. They allow you to validate the objective cards for cheaper than other empires. But it's not really the easiest one to play when you're just beginning. So, what do you think I should pick? No, it's okay. Pick the green ones. 
I'll help you. It's a semi-cooperative game anyway. Okay, so we're playing the galactic empires that are trying to expand our influence. We have three actions per turn, plus one for every ten influence points. In order to gain influence, we can either mine for or sell minerals, either establish colonies, or wage war against neighboring empires, or develop our science and technology, or validate objectives. There are a bunch of strategies, but obviously it's best if you do a little of everything. Obviously. Oh yeah, and there are decrees that you can put up to a vote. This is actually not part of the basic game, but gameplay is a lot more interesting with this expansion pack. It adds a diplomacy aspect. So, for decrees, you not only have to have over 50% approval rate in your empire, but you also need to submit them for other players to vote. Since there's just two of us, we'll have a third neutral player. Of course, you can override the player's vote if you have enough cruisers. So, the cruisers... Can't we just learn them while playing? <laughs> well, I don't think we'll be playing tonight, since we have to learn the rules and everything. But that way, you'll be all set to play next time. Hold on. We won't even have time to play this time? <laughs> well, unless you're really into it, I guess. But in my experience with this game, it's better if you sleep on it. That way, you can let the rules seep in real good. Because right now, we're just doing a quick overview. Once we get into some details, it will get tougher. Can't wait. Me neither. I'm out. I am too tired. You know I'm not going out without you. <laughs> 